Hey friends, my name is C, and today we have a new video for the Edexcel A11 Further Max Core P1 module, and we'll start off with a new topic which is Chapter 6 for Matrices, and we'll start off with 6.1 for the introduction to matrices for the rules and examples video. And here we have matrix. So a matrix is an array of elements which are usually numbers or like algebra in this case if we are dealing with some unknowns, set out in a pair of brackets. You can describe the size of a matrix using the number of rows and columns it contains. So here's an example matrix right here. So rows are the ones going horizontally and columns are the ones going vertically, right? So from here we can see that there are two rows and three columns. So the size of matrix A could be described as two by, by two by three, like so. So let's say if we have a matrix B, which is which has some like numbers of three, three, one, two, one, six, uh, like three, one, two, like so. Therefore, this would have a size of three by three. You will always read um, a row, the row first, in this case, 3, and then the column, in this case, also 3. So if, if this were to be like, like this, 3, 3, 2, 1, 3, 1, it would be 3 by 2. Because there are 3 rows right here, and there are 2 columns, like so. So this is how you describe the size of a matrix. And here we have some special matrices. So we have three that we look at. So number one is square matrix. And the square matrix is one where the, row, the number of rows and columns are the same. So here we have a four by four square matrix. So it's a matrix, not matrix, matrix. And it could be like two by two, two by three, four by four, five by five, and so on. Number two, we have zero matrix. And the zero matrix is one in which all of the elements are zero. And the zero matrix is denoted by like the number or like the symbol with zero. Like so. And the third one is an identity matrix. And an identity matrix is a square matrix in which the elements on the leading diagonal, starting from top left right here, are all 1 and the remaining elements are 0. And note that the identity matrices are denoted as I subscript K, where K describes the size of the matrix. So if we have a 3x3 three three identity matrix, it will be den denoted as I subscript 3, which is um, described as 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So let's say if we have I2, it would be 1, 0, 0, 1. Or if you have I4, it would be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 1, like so. Notice that the leading diagonal starting from top left is all 1, and the rest of the numbers are 0. And here we have a matrix arithmetic. So to add or subtract matrices, you add or subtract the corresponding elements in each matrix. And you can only add or subtract matrices that are the same size. So for example, here we have a 2 by 2 matrix. So we can add these two up or we can subtract these two because they have the same size. So to add them up, we just add the corresponding element. So like for the first row, first the first row first first column, like the um, the element it's four and one. So to add them, just add them up. So four plus four plus one is five. Or if you were to subtract them, four minus one would be three in this case. And to multiply a matrix by a scalar, you multiply every element in the matrix by that scalar. So for example, this meant if we have like a of like one two three four five six. In this case, A is a scalar and this is the matrix. So it would be A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A, and 6A, like so. And matrices which are the same size are said to be additively comfortable. So here we have two matrices multiplying together. And we will look into this in more detail in the coming lessons, but here's basically an, an, um, a quick tip or like a little introduction. So in order, so we can first spot the um, look at the size of the matrix from the first one. We can see it's a two by three matrix, and the second one it's a three by two. So in order to multiply two matrices together, the um, the column of the first matrix has to match up with the row of the second matrix. So as you can see, it's a three by uh, it's a two by three and a three by two, right? 
and the three and the three and the three are the same, so therefore we can multiply the two matrices, and the resulting matrices will be a two by two. So as you can see, a two by two. But don't worry, as we'll look more into this in the coming lessons. And lastly, here's some introduction to matrices examples. So number one, we have just basically adding the matrices. So as I mentioned, to add the matrices together, we just add the corresponding elements. So the first element, the first element would be two plus minus one, which is one. The second element would be one uh, minus one plus four, which is three. So one three, and the third element right here would be zero plus five, which is five. And the fourth element is three plus three, which is six. So it's the matrix. The matrix. And for part B, find uh, basically subtracting the matrices. So let me just draw it out. B. So oops, B, a bit bracket. So as usual, you just um, um, minus or like subtract the corresponding element. So one minus zero is one. Minus oops, one minus three minus two is minus five. 4 minus 1 is 3, 2 minus 5 is minus 3, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, and 1 minus 3 is oops, minus 2, like so. And a more tricky example, so we're given A, B, and C, and they are all 2 by 2 matrices. Given that A plus 2B equals C, find the values of the constants A, B, and C. So let's first find the left-hand side of A plus 2B. So to b we know that to mod to um so to find out to b we know that the scalar is two, so we multiply two by every element in the in this case, so a plus two b will be equal to like a zero, oops, a zero one two, one two. Plus two b is two, two p two b zero six, like so. So adding that up will give us two a um two plus a, two plus a, two b, one, and eight like so. And we know that a plus two b equals c, and we know that c is equal to equal to six, six one c. Therefore, we can basically just um equate terms like equating coefficients, because we know that these two are the same, that equal to each other. So therefore, this term right here will be equal to this term, and this term will be equal to this term, and 1 equals 1, as you can see. And the last term is 8 is equal to c. So therefore, we can just solve um, the values. So therefore, a equals 2 plus a equals 6, so a equals 4. b, 2b equals 6, so b equals 3, and c equals 8. And that's the final answer. And that's it for this short video for 6.1 for the introduction to matrices for the rules and examples question. And if you all have any questions, you can leave them down below and I'll reply to them. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out more of in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.emaceasy.com. And in our next lesson, we'll look into 6.1 for the introduction to matrices for questions video which will set up as a fundamental knowledge for all of the matrices uh, knowledge that you'll be covering in this whole chapter, which will be a very crucial video. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this short video and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe and happy learning.